lovely gorgeous one so this is your oracle reading for unconditional love the week beginning july 31st or july the 31st and this week there is no roomy card but we are going to be using the journey of love oracle deck and for a little bit of interactivity i would like you to choose which um card you would like so i've given them a shuffle I'll give them a little bit more remove through what i'm going to do is split the deck into three like so and i would like you to just close your eyes have a little bit of a deep breath and choose which card you would like to be yours and i'm going to read the three of them and so some messages will be different for different people so card number one is number 37 fire and ice what an absolutely stunning piece of artwork there number two number four simplicity this has been coming up a lot for me personally recently and number three number 26 guardian of the soul family wow so if you chose number one fire and ice this is your message Number 37, fire and ice. You are learning to hold the tension of opposites, of those things that don't immediately seem to go together within your being, without collapsing into confusion, judgment or denial. There is passion and serenity, creation and destruction, new life and death, emerging within you, within your relationships. Sometimes this is hard to handle. We want to make things simpler, to just let go of the conflict and complexity and choose one or the other. You are a grand enough soul to be able to withstand the rigours of depth, to go deep, to live fully, to let the divine have its way through you requires a willingness to stand at the centre of the pair of opposites and eventually know that they are connected to each other and that they exist only in relationship to each other, to breathe and simply be. If you are consciously feeling the conflict in your life, internally or externally, then you are being initiated through fire and ice. Stay present, be patient, and wait. There is nothing to fix here, just awareness to step into as divine creation continues to unfold through you. As you master this initiation, you will find a sweet nectar of bliss dripping within. This oracle brings you guidance that the conflict you feel within or externally is a sign of your spiritual growth. Soon you will grow larger than the conflict, but for now you do not need to engage in it, simply to be present to it and allow it to work its way through you until you are strong enough to have outgrown the conflict, giving rise to a clear direction. It may seem impossible, beloved, but it is not. You are a vast being. Give yourself a chance to realise this and have patience. 
all is becoming, including you, according to the perfection of divine design. This oracle brings specific guidance on any relationship matter requiring a decision. Until you have simple clarity in your heart, beyond the pushing away and pulling closer, then it is time to wait, for there is more yet to be revealed. Only when your heart speaks clearly, then you will do well to act as feels truthful for you. And the short poem is, there is a beautiful silence now as I hold your hands and listen to your eyes across a span of moments called time. There are no words that say as much nor walls that could confine the wings of our feelings or the rhythm of our eyes. And if you chose number two, which is actually number four, simplicity. Your message is. Bow to that which is simple. You will find answers to your most complex issues and those questions that seem to defy the possibility of an answer. You will find the solution now through simplicity. Live one day at a time. Have gratitude for whatever you can, be, you can possibly be. Even if you are yet to understand why you should be grateful, because you cannot perceive the gift hiding within your struggles quite yet. Trust in the goodness of life, seeking to serve you into becoming the fullness of all that you are. Yes, beloved, even in your darkest night, the light of love is serving you. The most sophisticated of problems can be resolved through a simple answer. Love. Trust. Have faith. Be patient. Wait and you shall see. Let simplicity be. This oracle brings you an answer. Everything is going to be all right. Don't add fuel to the fire and look for ways to sort out complicated matters prematurely. Sometimes ingredients need to cook and percolate so that they can become a meal. The circumstances with which you are struggling will right themselves in time. Stay present and be patient. Pray in your own way. Meditation, time in nature, dance and literally talk to the divine. When you need to take a clear, simple action, you will feel it. Relax and know it is all going to work out for the best. And your short poem is, there is peace for one whose heart is open. And if you chose number three, which is actually number 26, guardian of the soul family, this is your message. You are being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is great soul love calling you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfil. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls predetermined by the divine plan. If you are struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you are being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication and enriched experience, or the realization that you have traveled as far as you can together, and know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life 
and open your heart to the guardians who help you with unconditional love now. The guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place. In present relationships unfolding, in attracting the right relationships for your future growth, and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. And the short poem for this card is, When I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all, as we become more than we are alone. And for some, I feel that all three of those messages will be relevant. But the one that called to you first, that is the most important. And so maybe just listen to that one again. If you haven't checked out the masculine feminine reading, available to rent on Vimeo for a year, please take a look at that. If not, a huge amount of love from my heart to yours. May all your dreams come true. And may we wish the dreams to come true for every single one of our beloveds. Loads and loads of love.